Neil, congratulations. Back to William Ways and not simple in terms of lost stars in the uh, last game and Cal Howe came up injured, but the lads got through it and it's a good win in the end. It's a brilliant win. Um, you know, when you lose games of football, you want to bounce back. And we wanted to do that at Chesterfield and obviously that didn't happen. And today, you, you, you've got to look at the opposition and, and work out where you think they're strong, where you think we are. Uh, we played Boise and Crano down on the same side of the pitch because when Susu and Efete get down there and, and double up, they can cause you problems and nullified that. I thought the game was a little bit open first half, a bit end to end. Um, our first goal was breathtaking. You know, I hope you put that one on the, on Twitter over the course of the week because it was goalkeeper all the way through the midfield up to the finish from Runes, and it was breathtaking. Um, and then second half, you know, we just said, look, let's let's not let the game be open. Let's let it be open when we go forward, but not when they go forward. And, Always protected Booty brilliantly, considering Reese has been injured for two or three weeks with his ankle. Lois is a centre midfielder playing centre half. Um, I thought we defended magnificently. Yeah, we've touched on sort of the, the system and players playing sort of out of position, but there seems to be a real appetite to to be hungry and go out there and, and win the game as well. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, like we said, we said go and get a second. You know, you don't want to just hang on to a one 0 win. But like I say, last 15 minutes, the way we game managed was was sort of a new thing for us because I think at times we can be a little bit naive but we, we, we barely let them out of their half for the last 15-20 minutes and from our point of view that was that was brilliant the energy that we put into that performance you know I thought there was so many good performances but you know Runes up top led the line magnificently obviously got his goal delighted from that and, and Bawley you know, whenever I put him in and ask him to do a defensive job, he does it brilliantly. And I thought he sat in there and protected the space in front of our, in front of the, the two centre halves that that had to sort of play there. James Clark straight in for his debut and straight in there with the assistant. You know, an overall really good display from him. Yeah, yeah. I thought him and Barney combined well. He's, you know, all the feedback we got is he's one of the fittest players at Mansfield. Um, I thought he defended really, really well, and his quality of his passing and and crossing was was excellent. Like I say, everybody, I can't fault anybody. I'm you know, as close to as pleased as I've been with a with a Moore's performance, to be honest with you. Um, you know, they're no mugs, obviously, as we know. They're a strong team, but you know, I thought we nullified them first. Half, last 20 minutes of the first half we had to dig in to sort of stay in front but they took everything I said at half time applied it and the second half was brilliant and this, the second goal as well cleared off the line at one end straight onto the counter and the, at the other end Joseph Barra off the bench and back in the goals yeah yeah great for Joe uh, <laughs> me and uh, me and Quinny when he hit it thought that he'd sort of miss it straight at the goalie so when it went in we was pleasantly surprised but um you know, like that's what subs are for. It was just one of them games. You know, you look and go, do we need to change? But the energy was so good. The work rate. I mean, Runes didn't stop running. Um, you know, you sometimes go. You know, it's hard for sometimes for a player to come on and then get straight up to speed. So we didn't need to make too many changes. But uh, it's a big win. Um, gets us over the defeat, and then we move on now to a tough away game. It might feel like the walking wounded in terms of players out and injured and suspended, but. Reece McAlley came in for his, his yeah. first appearance of the season, you know, acquitted himself really well. No, we, we like Reese. Um, <laughs> you know, he's, he's a good player. Um, the problem we've had with him is he rolled his ankle three or four weeks ago and, and he's been out. I mean, this, he, he trained yesterday probably for the first time in three weeks. So I put him on the bench today. He got through training, I put him on the bench because I knew we were so thin at the back that we needed to, to have that cover. <laughs> Thank God I did because obviously with Cal going off, it was a massive blow. Yeah, touching on Cal, what's the uh, situation? He, he got a whack on his hip early on in the game. I think he did the ball and collided with someone. And sometimes if you're not ready for it and you get it in the wrong spot, it's painful. And it, listen, Cal, Cal's the sort of player you have to stretcher him off. And um, he's he's there almost, he could barely move. And you know that's what you want if, if he's got to come off because he can barely move, you know, you have to accept it. I guess that's one to assess over the coming days as we look to Eastley. And important to get the win here after the couple of defeats and back on the road on, on Saturday. Yeah, yeah, you know, we knew this was a tough run but if we can go and get a, a victory at Eastley you know if you gave me six points out of the 12 on the four tough games we had um, you know with, with two tough away ones I would I would probably sort of take that I'll definitely take it now where, where we are I would have taken it at the start so um, we just got to stay in and around it our whole remit this stage of the season is to dig in keep picking up points try and stay in and around the uh, you know the playoff spots and keep that belief.